Hello everybody, welcome to a car video. Uh, this is how the channel, this is how the channel really started. Because if you go to my older videos, I started off in on my kitchen table and in hotel rooms. Um, and it was really sporadic. And then when I got my car, I officially started the channel. So this is technically how the channels, the channel was birthed before then, but this is when I say it really started, okay? We're just going to do a collective uh, reading using Kipper just because I feel inspired. Um, what do you have for the collective? I feel like collective children are going to be really important for you around this time. Like either nurturing the child within, the inner child. Um, you're going to be, I feel like you're going to be focusing or honing in on feelings of like neg neglect. Like maybe people that have neglected you, spaces. Like you guys may be feeling like... Um, a little bit more needy or a little bit more clingy or some of y'all may actually need a little bit more space and a little bit more time away from people just to focus on like maybe your inner issues of like neglect at this time some of you guys possibly have been neglecting your own needs in a situation whether it's the neglect of like resources money um i thought she's about to touch my car whether it's whether it's uh resources you know like money food um sleep emotional needs physical needs like it's just I feel like you guys are addressing the uh the child within the inner child um some of you guys this is like focusing on the neglect of an actual child possibly like a literal child um I'm also hearing collective control your spending habits y'all have been spending too much wasteful very wasteful wasteful but I, I feel like some of you guys are going to spend some time collect uh collecting some of y'all could be collecting, but um, connecting with your inner child. Like, I'm really getting messages about inner child. I should have brought my star seed oracle in here because that's like a heavy inner child oracle deck. Um, yeah, like focusing on what you need, what what the things that you need to hear, the things that you need people to be saying to you. And then when, when you realize what you need to hear, you're realizing what you're not hearing from certain people in your life and what part of your life like wh where they deserve what spot they should uh reserve in your life if they should even have a place in your life because it's like you're i feel like you're looking you're looking at connections and it's like hmm, i don't feel nurtured here i don't feel really appreciated here i don't feel really connected here i'm not hearing what i need to hear here i feel neglected here and some of y'all relationships may fall off some of y'all you may lose people some of y'all uh you may lose yourself for a little bit while you go exploring your depths what do you got for uh, some of y'all? I'm getting very uh, heavy Taurus energy. What do you got for the collective? Um, I feel like some of y'all are realizing just how much or how um, how expensive or how valuable certain experiences are or were in your life um, for like the bigger picture. Like everything kind of comes full circle or everything kind of starts to make sense now. Like why you had to go through this experience with this person or why you had to do this here or why you had to spend that money there. Like I feel like things are going to it's like the puzzle pieces are starting to fit together and you're starting to understand, OK, this serves this purpose in my life. That serves that purpose in my life. This does not serve this purpose in my life. Um, I feel like you're gaining a level of understanding. Finally, um, there's, a, there's a lady like walking towards my car. Anyways, I feel like you're uh, you're getting a level of understanding finally um in your life about like why you had to go through certain trials and tribulations maybe the whole full part maybe the full picture doesn't manifest but it's like a level of understanding between you yourself your ancestors and your spirit guides i feel we have courtship and we have concern some of you guys a particular relationship in your life uh is concerning you some of you guys i feel like you're learning and expanding through another person through your connection through your relationship with another this could be a friendship because on the courtship card uh cupid's bow like he's not actually you know how you know the saying about cupid's arrow like you've been shot by cupid's bow like he's kind of at rest he ain't shooting no arrows so there ain't no love here there's there not yet at least it's a kinship so i feel like you're learning through like valuable experiences in your life or valuable connections like what they meant um what you felt at certain times it's like it's almost like your mind is like a clock or it's like you're ticking back through time and you're you're understanding, OK, this is what I felt at this point And I didn't feel this way until this happened. Like it feels like you're reserving a certain spot in time and you're really understanding 
like um because it's easy with emotions for our judgment to get clouded and for us to confuse experiences for one another confuse feelings for one another not really tap into okay i felt this way and then i felt this way like the chronicle the chronological order of events and i feel like you're actually um doing that some of you guys could have concern about someone in your life. Um, this is like maybe like what can you offer this person? For some of y'all, I'm hearing Capricorn. Some of y'all, I'm hearing Taurus, Aries, and Virgo. Um, this was like an important connection in your past with someone. Some of you guys could have recently slept with this person. Uh, some of you guys could have lashed out at this person when they, they may have been just trying to understand you or be nice to you. Uh, some of you, um, this person may have lashed out at you. Someone here may have a peace lily plant. That's a peace lily right there. I love peace lilies. I feel like um, someone collective is really trying to listen to you and trying to understand you. And I, I see that you are maybe trying to equally understand in a connection and make something possibly last for the long haul. Uh, I feel like this, this see to understand or this concern is going to unlock like the key to a connection or a relationship with someone like understanding Maybe that someone comes from a different walk of life. Maybe that they don't think the way that you do. They don't see the world the way that you see it. But I do see that there's like a kinship here with a person. I'm getting Aries. I feel like this person is really trying to understand or someone's really trying to understand. For some of y'all, this person may have kept a secret from you. They're trying to really understand how them keeping that would have hurt you. Like it's like maybe they thought that they were protecting you. I'm hearing something about gross negligence. Some of you guys hate some people in your life because they neglected you when you needed them the most. Um, they treated you poorly when all you wanted to do was love them, for some of you. Courtship concern. For some of y'all, this is like concern about a relationship with the Pisces. What, what else you got for the collective? Courtship concern. We have occupation. Some of you guys could be concerned about the field that you're in. Is this the is this the job that I still want to do? Is this the is this the line of work that I still want to be in? I feel like collective, you are taking on the weight of the world. I feel like you are concerning yourself a lot at this time with matters that just don't need to concern you. Like, I feel like uh, even if you don't have support around you in terms of like family or friends, release your worries uh, onto the universe. Like, let God or let the universe let uh no i'm sorry let god or the universe um sorry people are just coming up to my car here i'm gonna have to find a different laundromat let god or the universe um hold your worries for you like um I, this is reminding me of prison break because i just finished it and i believe it was link that told michael like listen michael like you don't have to do all of this alone that's what family's for you can uh, let go of some of it on us or you can you can let me carry some of it so that the load is not so heavy for you. I feel like some of you guys have been carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders and it's time to let go a little bit and surrender. Allow someone else to hold some of the burden for you or, you know, maybe maybe lighten your load. Like I feel like spirit or God or the divine is whatever you believe in. I, I interchange because some of y'all call it different things. Some y'all call it Allah, some y'all call it Jah, like some y'all call it whatever. Um, this is just releasing the load, lightening up your load and giving someone else a chance to take the wheel and show you that you can trust. So this could be a person in your life or this can just be surrendering to the divine, surrendering to God, um, surrendering to the universe. Once again, whatever you call it. Um, it feels like you guys have a lot of thoughts in your mind that are just kind of like wasteful. Like you're wasting away thinking about certain things when there's other thing, there's other thoughts to be had or other worries to be uh, concerned with. It feels like you guys are concerned with the small little details and there's nothing wrong with uh, wanting to tap in or wanting to fix the little details. But when that consumes your mind and you can't think about anything else, then that does become an issue. So I feel like the universe is here to say that um, it's okay to let go a little bit. It's okay to lighten your load. Release your worries onto me, my child. I feel like it's okay to let go a little bit. You've been concerning yourself. Four plus three is the seven. The number seven in numerology is the card. Is the uh, so the card is the number of um, the introspective person, the analytical person, the overthinker, 
okay this person can uh this person can succumb to their own cynicism being in their mind so much this is a very logical rational number the seven they spend a lot of time in solitude and in their head and they spend a lot of time being concerned and i feel like you're just being told it's okay you can relax you can calm down okay you can surrender you can release control or relinquish control a little bit you don't have to be so on it you can allow it to play out and trust the process i feel like so allow this occupation or this job to surprise you this thing that you've been spending so long honing in on a crafting just surrender to the own unknown a little bit just a little bit because you've been carrying a big load a big burden a big weight on your own just let go a little bit because eventually you're gonna have a hunchback you're not gonna be able to carry shit it's gonna just make you splat flat on the ground so just stay calm keep calm and love life or live life whatever the saying is courtship concern yeah especially with this courtship concern i just feel like some of y'all are concerning yourself with matters that don't concern you and it's not to call you out sometimes you need to hear that that you are concerning yourself with the wrong things like um you're it's like you're concerning yourself the number seven in numerology is also very quiet and it's the learner my alarm ring but this person is very studious this person is the learner as well the number seven you're concerning yourself so much with one thing and then what you should be looking at is like what can you learn from this and then possibly how can you teach this to others but that was my little spiel okay i just wanted to get up on here and talk i felt like it i got so many interruptions so i don't even know if i'm gonna be doing these outside anymore um I just felt like doing it in my car and yeah I got so many distractions disruptions i'm just not gonna come here no more because i think this is the spot where for some reason whenever i'm trying to do a divine message these people be coming up to my car so anyways but that's been your message um yeah i may i may make these collectives more frequent just because i feel really guided um to be in my car more I don't know, I feel like being surrounded a little bit and seeing different things. But yeah, that's what I got for y'all. Um, have an awesome day, y'all.